Hello Diamonds and welcome to Echo 10 playtests that I've been running on my computer all the time when I were doing the Season 5 on Hornet. So this is on different OS, so it does function quite a bit differently. So I'm running it in Linux, not in Windows, like most of my recordings nowadays. But yeah, so I've been kind of building up some stuff to test out the new mechanics. And yeah, now we have the big FPS counter that, of course, gets very slow with certain actions. Like uh, before it was whenever I was trying to eat something, it uh, went really wonky. And yeah, sometimes some other animations cause it as well. Not sure if it's just because of the proton being used or something else. But yeah, like I remember before the update, because just before I started recording, there was slight update. So let's see if it affects if, uh, yeah. FPS goes down when I try to take the seeds and and it doesn't even show any animation. Okay, let's pick up some food as well to see if that does anything. I will take a bit more. I need them later. So let's see. It stabilizes to 60. And now let's eat it. Of course, now it says it's full. Of course, I get full at the wrong time. <laughs> ah. In such case, we need to do a little bit of work. I think my class working is ready, so I can learn that skill as well. Where is my new book? Mechanics, class working, yes. Let's learn it. Because then I can start doing class working stuff. Because, yeah. And, yeah, I have pretty much unlimited uh, skill points because I have set the settings to be kind of ridiculous. Um, I have to, of course, enable that as well. And, yeah, <laughs> the stars go outside of the window, obviously. So let's see, glass working is here. Let's take it. And yes, 130 <laughs> remaining. <laughs> Don't have enough skills for that, but anyway, it doesn't matter too much. So let's see what we could do. I mean, I definitely don't have too many materials everywhere. It's interesting, it didn't connect my stockpiles either. Yeah, the game has really strange behavior at times. So, so I will select this and this. I mean, I can select everything, doesn't matter. So yeah, I do have the stack sizes uh, at uh, times five, isn't it? I think it's times five. So it's a lot more. So I can put up to, wait, maybe it's even more than times five. Yeah, it should be. It's time 10. Yeah. Definitely, I can see it from here now. There is times then, uh, it's just making it easier for me to handle everything, like when I do work and testing. I also have enabled the recipes to be super cheap whenever there is no fixed amount. Like here, the crushed limestone is fixed, but at the same time, the sand is not. And even without any upgrades, it gives me like 0.9. And I have upgrade one, which I did before the updates, and I do play on the Sea Otter variant, if anyone is wondering. But let's make the five pieces of glass, because it's all I can do. Ooh, glass lens as well. That's nice. Anyway, let's start making them and use some of the energy on there uh, to make better glass, which is with the quick climb. Then I need to, well, first make the quick climb and then also get the <laughs> level four somehow. Which will take quite a lot of time, I guess. Yeah. Not going to happen anytime soon, so... Not sure if we can finish it uh, in this episode. But yeah, so I kind of made some buildings for different uh, tools and tables. So here's my first building, which... Yeah, I know that the tree is growing through because... The tree growth is also much quicker. Because I wanted it to be quick. Uh, so yeah, this is the first building where I started everything. I have like my loom and and anvil and all that. And the new sawmill is super big. It's like humongous. Yeah. I, and of course we have new uh, stuff inside like court chairs and decorative ship wheels and all that. So there's way, way too many things. And yeah, I, I have kitchen queued, but I need my level six for that. And it will take a while because I'm level four. So not sure when that will happen. 
I have all the ingredients, but that's it. I just need the label. So once I get uh, the skill up, then I can check it. Oh, and this is also interesting. The preview is set up different ways. So supposedly we should uh, start seeing some sprites to show up here. It's not active yet. But yeah, anyway, another thing after this huge sawmill, which does make sense in uh, if you think logically, because this type of machinery can't be too tiny, especially if you do all the carpentry work on it, not just just uh, sawing the uh, trays. So another thing that happened, which I discovered just uh, when I was trying to start making the glassworking book, is that the basic upgrades are on the research table. So they're no longer in uh, specialized places, which is interesting, and they do not require specialized skills. So anyone can do them. You just need all the research papers and sometimes some extra goodies. Like in this case, you need wooden hull planks. And this is on a sh uh, small shipyard and can be done only by uh, someone with the shipwright skill. So yeah, this is something new. But yeah, after you have completed the upgrade too, everything else seems to be quite easy to do. Or is it this... Advanced requires farming. Okay, so you need farmer skills and those as well. And culinary one, does it require? Yeah, campfire too. So yeah. Or you can use hunting too. I mean, hunting one is required. Huh. So one of them is campfire cooking one and others are hunting ones. Okay, interesting. Geology advanced. Does it require anything else? Masonry one. Okay, so it's no longer free to make skill. You need to have specializations. Engineering. Does it require papers? Yeah, you need engineering one to do it. So no longer level zero skills. Wow. So it, definitely now all our people will start selling their uh, their uh, research papers, which kind of makes sense. It it does make it more interesting. So I'm quite sure that uh, many people will like it. Because, yeah, it means more trading and all that. It's really, really good. Ooh, dried fish. That's also a new thing. Okay, so I need to make fish rack somehow, which is done in fishery, which I haven't built yet. So I have to do that as well. Ooh, sweet jerky as well. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that I have to figure out during my playthrough. But yeah, next, let's let's go downstairs. Ah, yeah, this is the new campfire. Maybe some of you already have seen it. It does look kind of nice and decent, but not perfect. Chests are more, uh, well, rectangular now. So no more uh, regular pirate chests that we had so far. So it should look a bit nicer. And yeah, I have a lot of rubbish everywhere because, well, I need to drop it somewhere. Then downstairs I have a small workshop for other things. And yeah, I do have the different flooring type here. It's kind of difficult to see, but yeah. So it has its own, like, elements to make it work. So yeah, farming table, nothing really new. At least I didn't notice. This one just complains that I don't have enough mechanical power because, well, this one requires 250 and I don't have enough, which means that probably my power has run out on steam engine. Which steam engine has the power? Ah, both of them are dead, so. So, yeah, this is 80 meters away, so this should be the one that I used. So, yeah, I need to get some more coal or make charcoal. Charcoal I can make in kiln. So, yeah, I should do that quickly. Butcher table, I haven't really done much either. I just did a little bit before. Those tables, not much new, except the camera film. It's new thing. Also, now we need laboratory for doing, uh, well, as you can see on the recipe count, all advanced skill books are done on here. 
so it will make things way more difficult so i should probably already queue it up because otherwise i can't make any more advanced upgrades or even modern upgrades because those are also included also the medium shipyard printing press i really want the printing press to be done what else small paper machine that's probably quite cute uh tripod camera is again something new that uh, is added just as uh, as we have the cameras and lenses and all that so i need to make one glass lens for that and also one light bulb light bulb requires a bit higher skill if i remember correctly yeah level two so once i get level two then i can uh can make light bulb and uh, lens was i need to keep the control lens i can make now and yeah <coughs> wood balls are kind of easy and yeah then steel bo boy as well so there are a few new things not too many those tables probably are kind of the same yeah nothing different really yeah metal keel is new things mechanics for so it's used for bigger ships like large metal ship frame recipe and medium metal ship frame then on tailoring table we do have some new things of course like hemp mooring ropes lean and yarn and all those things but yeah also cotton streamer stars and stripes anything else oil headlamp is kind of new thing and yeah requires certain new skills as well i mean, not skills but items for that masonry table did we have anything new here Don't remember not really it's all the same so that's pretty much what i set up and i made this staircase go down so here is my clay mine so that's where i got all the clay for all of my bricks we also have new items to kind of cut down so if i take this you can see so it's flax so with flax we can make all the lean and stuff and yeah on for me it kind of grows very quickly which is good and yeah whenever i do something the frame rate goes really really down so you can probably see it in the video that comes out as well so yeah this is pretty much what i've been playing with and trying to figure out also i find it to be a little bit difficult because we can only carry one item like uh, in the hornet we always use the uh, peak shovel mods so useful and yeah like trying things out in vanilla it's super difficult after that so yeah if you ever uh, get used to those things you wait what's going on have they increased this as well now are they copying stuff from mod makers that's new i think it also came with the latest update then wow I like to be proven wrong in many things, especially if those are good things like this. Ah, and yeah, we can carry only three crushed on this. Does it show anything different? No, it's just the regular maximum durability, repair costs. Hmm. They are new things. Do, do they have anywhere else that they mention it? hmm yeah i don't see it anywhere but this is definitely new it's surprising and well that was not surprising we just <laughs> fell through <laughs> fell through randomly but yeah it's kind of good to know that we now have like not big shovel but like medium shovel mods <laughs> available wow it makes life so much easier <laughs> wow 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 yeah you probably understand i'm too surprised so so yeah anyway i will quickly run and do more class because we we need to get to level two asap so i will queue up like 100 immediately takes quite a while
And now maybe you can also showcase the slow eating stuff if it's still active. So we eat multiple ones. And yeah, the frame went really down. I will add some other foods. It's better than before. Before it really went to like seven, eight frames per second. So it has some optimizations finally. That's really good. I do like it. But yeah, it's still not perfect. But yeah, getting a lot better. Wow. Some updates are good. Anyway, I will continue showcasing my place. So you know what's really happening. On top of here, just under the tree or inside the tree now, is my sh uh, small shipyard. See, I just needed a place to make some items close to my house. Because the new claim system is more complicated, so I didn't really want to go far away for that. But yeah, I need to do a lot of training on this side. And yeah, I also need to make a bit more mechanical power before I realize that, well, there's probably only one way to make more, which is to, well, actually I need to make charcoal. So let's do hundreds. Okay, good. That's fine. So yeah, like using uh, proper ways is always better. So I didn't really utilize the right way at first. Yeah, this recipe takes quite a long time, 17 seconds per iteration. And where does it put it? Where is it? Hiding? Do I have somewhere that it can access? Ah, yeah. It puts directly into the campfire, so we don't need that. Actually, let's take majority of this and can we put directly to the other steam engine that is far away? Yes. Now we should have a lot of mechanical power, right? Yeah, supply is 2,089 watts. Excellent. So now we can operate all the machinery immediately and we don't even need those things on top of the roof, which is good. Then another place, I was kind of starting to make some uh, easels in here, which is not finished because, well, I needed some ingredients because I need art supplies to do any paintings. So at the moment I don't have, but well, in the future, when I can make them, then it would be nice. Huh. I didn't expect that to end up here. Anyway. Let's go further because I have made one setup here where also the main mechanical power generator is. And yeah, we have dynamic weather. It started to rain now. Here I also set up uh, my medium shipyard. So it does require a little bit more stuff. And for this, I need, I need to kind of increase my uh, ship freight level, which is a little bit low. But yeah, that's what I will do over time. And yeah, we make a lot of power here. I have this windmill only for this mechanical water pump. So it's good. I have canoe. Very difficult to maneuver around, but it's okay. So yeah, this is one of the places. I also did my uh, find like different uh, areas for like copper and other materials, which is good. And I think I also had coal mine over here. Did I already run out of coal so quickly? I mean, it's possible because cause I've been playing a little bit. And yeah, it does get a little bit dark. Why is this over here? Strange. And yeah, it gets super dark. So shale, shale, shale. Ah, it's only shale mine. Pardon me. Yeah, I thought I had a coal mine here, but I haven't reached the coal <laughs> at all. So yeah, I was taking the shale out of the grounds here. I did find like a few places where uh, the copper was outside by itself, like the crushed version of it. Actually, I think it wasn't even crushed. It was just the regular copper ore standing out somehow so i think this seed is just very unique 
having everything different ways. But I can't remember where it was. I mean, if it's copper, then it probably was around here, I guess. Like around this hill or even up. So let's quickly run this way past the desert biome. Maybe we can find quickly the copper that I was playing with. You see, I found it really interesting that the, it was available without digging deep into the hill. Because normally we need to dig a lot to find any. But this time not. Ah, they have applied the Christmas update, it seems. Because we already have those colorful trees. Okay. But yeah, many changes is the Christmas update then. So let's see what it looks like in the actual release. Yeah, it will be unique, and yeah. I mean, they look nice, but they don't glow. I, I wish they had, like, the glow effects changed as well. So where could it have been? So here's some more rocks. Do we have anything around here? I can't see. Might need to go back to main view to see if there's anything hidden. Or any different location. I already feel that I'm totally lost. Ah, here we are. Copper ore just outside random place. So, so yeah. It's very unique to find. Not sure if cold ore can be outside like it, but definitely makes life a lot easier. We just go and Mine it out. There's a hole. Huh? There's a hole down there. But how? Really interesting. Let, let me put things down. I need to investigate this this place because it makes no sense to me. So let's remove this block here. I'll put it on the sides. Yeah, just simply empty hole. Because I removed this block that was here, the top block and the front block. And that's those pieces. Ooh, this animation has been made a bit quick, it seems. It's a little bit twitchy, but <laughs> okay. But yeah, interesting. Just missing block, and under it we have dirt, which kind of indicates as well that the game has just made it into a hole. Hmm, very strange. So not sure if it's a bug or, well, feature. Because, well, most of the time all the bugs will be called features. Especially if the behavior is good in a strange way. Anyway, I will take some of the copper back home. And yeah, the pieces they kind of seem to float a little bit. So they don't fall down immediately. They kind of take the time to go down. Interesting. So are we on the moon suddenly? Because the current is so slow. <laughs> Not sure. Anyway, as you can see, I have 48 uh, on me, which is good. So I think we have to go somewhere this way to go back home. I think it was towards the north. And yeah, we have a lot of crushed iron ore everywhere. Which is nice to see. So now we can dig three of those. Not sure if some other tools will give then more benefit now. Yeah, I should probably find out the uh, release notes of some sorts. Because, yeah, surprises are immense. So, yeah, this is pretty much how far I have gotten. I will see if uh, during the week I have time to make more clips for you. Because, yeah, once the Hornet new season starts, we might actually end up even using Moss's new mods. Because he has made really interesting uh, uh, 
web-based uh, admin panel that uh, admins can use to manage the server, like to add or remove stars or even reset the skills without needing to log in is fantastic thing to have. And I'm really grateful for Mas for doing that. So yeah, I hope we can test it out in in the coming season. And if not, then maybe I will be able to at least test it out on my machines. So maybe I will just log in with secondary account to see if if I can manage like multiple people and like one admin, one non-admin, just to see how well it works. But yeah, anyway, uh, I think I will leave the video right here. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.